everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have an unboxing for you. This is from Diamond Art Club. Uh, these are sneak peeks. Oh, I'm a little eager. <laughs> I wanted to be upfront. This is how it came. Um, it was sent expedited so it got a little smushed because I got a little carried away and I'm really excited to show you what's in the box. So, can I show you without sharing you? Kinda. Yeah. Alright. Let's see. There's one of these in here now that is not for today. And that's why I'm a bit, you know, I'm a bit hesitant. Let me see if I can just... Oh. One. And two. And the other one has to wait. <laughs> oh. And, in case you were wondering, I got the extra diamonds. Uh, I asked for spares because of Galaxy. I'll tell you about that when I get to Galaxy's post review. So these are today's diamond paintings. Now these are sneak peeks, which, which means that they're not on the website today. If you're watching this on Friday, they are on the website tomorrow. So they release their diamond paintings at 9 a.m. Pacific time for Doobie, Ru Doobie. <laughs> Diamond and Ruby Club members and at 9.30 a.m for everybody else. So, uh, if you have any questions, there are, there's details down below. I'm going to go ahead and open, which one am I opening first? This one. <laughs> As you can tell, they are both square diamond paintings due to the blue ribbon here on the side. And I did not decide to pause you for this. It's a whole experience. Now, uh, as you can see in the title, this I believe is the first Molly Harrison diamond painting. And if you're a fan of Molly Harrison, OG Molly Harrison fans out there, look at this. It's one Halloween. Look at the witch and the cat and the jack-o'-lantern and the moon and everything in her beautiful magical cape. She's a 56 by 71 square diamond painting and I'm going to show you her now. So, happy Friday, everybody! TGIF. I hope you're having a great day and a great week so far. Time for that weekend feeling. We've got a square toolkit, which comes with the pen, tweezers, the diamond drill tray, the boat, two plates of wax, a little pen grip or squishy. We've got loads and loads of baggies in there, and we have a multi-placer. And that is what comes in every square toolkit, so I won't show you the next one. Then we have a sticker, which I put on the box, and our diamond painting. <gasps> I think they did change the glue <laughs> on the bag, because <laughs> I don't rip it anymore. Thanks, DAZ. <laughs> All right, so here we've got, let me take this out. So there's the, ooh. There's the legend, 65 colors on this one, you guys, and four Aurora Borealis colors, which are here at the top. Look at that picture, though. She's holding the cat with her gloved hands. Love her top and everything. It's so cute. But this one is going to be full of confetti, so I hope you're ready. Here are my drills. Nicely packed. We'll have a look at them in just a minute. Very colorful. This is almost like a rainbow painting. I'm going to go ahead and roll it back so that we can lay it flat. You know me and the square drills these days. I cannot wait <laughs> to do more square drill diamond paintings. I might have to um, to do an... Oh, I just dropped the... Oh. The instruction sheet, which comes inside and it has... All of the, I'm just letting that unroll up by itself. A thank you, tips and tricks, how to do it, and a discount code. So are we ready? Got a little fluff there. And voila. <gasps> Ooh, she's so vibrant. Look at her. Oh my gosh, you guys. That is so cute. And the cat has green eyes. Adorable. And look, there's a little kitty there. I didn't even notice. <laughs> Cute. Yes. I like this. I like this a lot. I'm just moving it sideways because I have a 
another camera thingy there. But yeah, look at that. Here's the details here on the side. And a look at the drill field. So as you can see, we have the typical symbols. More symbols this time, because there are 65 of them. Let's have a look at her face. I love the shading in her face. Look at the nose. There's like a bit of, would you call that contouring? There's definitely some shadowing. So you can see that the side of her nose is going to have that that depth and that detail. Love it. I'm not usually a fan of faces in diamond painting. I think anybody could tell you that, but I think that it's actually not too bad. And then we've got this moon, which looks fantastic as well. I wonder where the ABs are going to go. We're going to have a look at that here in just a minute. But just so you know, they've got the legend on both sides. The legend is massive. Look at that. It's very, it's very large. It's very easy to see. Uh, personally, I just take the stickers and I put them onto my storage containers uh, that I use for diamond painting if I'm kidding up. But gorgeous. This one's not too big, but it's still quite large, you know? Like if you were to hang this up on a wall, it will take up quite a bit of space. But the end result is gonna look really, really pretty. So, are we ready? Let's have a look at these drills. If you are not interested in looking at the diamonds, please go ahead and skip forward to this timestamp. Oh, there's so many drills. Wow. All right, so let me bring in. Ready? We've got 3371, which is a dark brown. Three tens. One, two, three, four big bags of black. 3078. Just this nice pale yellow. 3855. 3771. 938, which is dark brown. 893. 3864. 892. 754, we've got two bags. 3801, 907, 779, 894, 318, 954. Wow, look at that green. That's really nice. This would be a great diamond painting for drills and chills. We've got 792, 644, 158, 3854, 703, 208, 317, 413, 3823, 209, 3861, 951. Ooh, here's our first AB, 134. It's a pretty green. You can see that coating on the top. Flip it over so you can see more. That coating there gives it just an extra bit of sparkle. And it makes it kind of stand out. Gives it a mirrored effect almost on the canvas. 3052, 3799, 141. So there's the white version of an AB. 336, 562. 912, 905, 415, 210, 727, ooh, 132. So we've got the orange one. So that's green, white, and orange. 895, 3848, 498, 414, 327. 904, 3814, 3860, 321, that's pretty, 3053, 550, beautiful, 738, 3787, 334, oop, rest in peace, yellow drill, 
$38.19. That's a great color. Wow. I really like that. $128. So there's our last Aurora Borealis color. This is a pink one. And I love this one. This one's so pretty. $740. $606. $955. $960. $3,723 and $4.44. Let's see where those special drills go, shall we? So we've got number one is the pink. And if I can look quickly, which probably won't happen, if I had to be, aha, I found it. Is there any in her hat? There is. So right here on the edge of this hat, we've got the pinks. We've got some up here as well. And then down here in the skirt, we have pink in the highlight along these edges uh, where the light is shining there. Number two is the orange. That is all up here in her hat. You can see it very clearly there, the orange there. We've got some in the jack-o'-lantern here as well. And then number three is the green. Three is in this the leaves that are here on her hat. Let's see, there's some that highlight the edge of the moon here. And then, of course, along her cape here and on this side as well. Sorry, I have to go sideways there. So along this side of her cape, just in the folds here and along these edges here, here as well. And number four is white, and the white is in the very obviously white places, which is highlighting her hat at the top, highlighting this part here, a few sprinkles in her hair, and just along the backside where the moon is hitting her this way. We've got some here, and we've got some here at the bottom of her bodice, uh, as well as in her sleeves, and the moons and stars in her cape. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. That's going to look fantastic. I think the rendering is really good for the size. Um, any more detail and you would have to go massive. And there's just a certain size that <laughs> I feel like I personally wouldn't recommend going anymore for my own sanity. But everybody is different and I totally understand that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this away. I'm so glad that they brought Molly Harrison into the lineup. I know that it's not everybody's cup of tea, but there are a lot of fans out there. And so I'm glad that we could, you know, that they could bring something to, to all of those fans. All right, guys, let me clean up and I'll be right back with the second one. All right. So here's the second one that they sent me. Now, as you can see, there's a little dent in the box, but I'm going to show you what it looks like if something has happened, but I really... Uh, doubt it. By double boxing their product, it saves the canvas from getting any kind of um, damage, which I appreciate. So let's take off this plastic wrap, get into it. I'm sure, I hope you guys have seen this already. If not, here you go. It is Lunum Pythonisum by Ennis Guerrero. This is also a square diamond painting at 51 by 71 centimeters, so it is an easy size to frame. And this is a witch with her black cat, and I love this picture. So let's have a look and see what it looks like. I know that this is a dark one, but you know me. I really like this one. So we have a toolkit again, same as before, and we have a sticker again. Then we have the canvas and drills in here. So let's go ahead and open it up and have a look-see. Let's get out those drills. So this one is very dark. Got that instruction kit. This one only has 24 colors because of the color palette in this painting, which is perfectly fine. Look at her necklace. So it looks like her makeup is smudged a bit. She has freckles. She has a little scar on her forehead. She's wearing a cap. It could be a witch's cap or something else. And then we've got this beautiful cat here and leaves coming in her hair. I feel like that's a very like fall-esque painting and very cool. These are the colors that we have. Muted browns, but 
for some people, this will look really great in their home. So let's go ahead. You can see the canvas is dented a little bit, but because of the canvas material, let's have a look and see what it looks like. If I roll this back, I didn't actually look at the painting. I was looking at the where this was happening. I'll show you. With the poured glue, you can roll them backwards with double-sided tape. You cannot. That's why I like poured glue because you can get those wrinkles and crinkles out and it does not harm the glue at all. Oh, she is really pretty. Look at that. So again, this is a square drill diamond painting. We've got the legends on both ends. We've got the details about the canvas here. Now that is a lot of background color. <laughs> that is a lot. It is the number eight, which is number DMC 543. So that is a lot of color blocking there in the background. And then of course the subject is going to be full of confetti. But I do like what they've done with the shading here. Her face looks a lot softer, the way that they've rendered it. They've made her eyes a little bit bigger, but you can still see that face is actually quite nice and see all the shading in her lips as well. And the cat really does look like that with really tall ears. <laughs> That's really cute to me. I like that a lot. What do you think? That is a little bit liney, but that's okay. I don't think that there's anything else you can do with the square drills to make, to give it any more depth, unless you were to make it like twice as big. And again, <laughs> let's make it approachable for people, right? <laughs> so I do like this. Let's have a look at this drill field. I'll bring it up to you this time. Let's look at the kitty. Let's look at the kitty cat. Aww. Isn't it cute? So you can see that this is mostly alphabet and numbers compared to symbols. So in the last one, I saw a lot of symbols. and this one, I see a lot of alphabet. And I think that's just because of the number of colors. The other one had 65 colors. And this one only has 24. So the more colors you have, the more range of symbols are needed in a diamond painting ones that can be identified easily. And in this one, there aren't any triangles. <laughs> so what do you think? I think she's really cute. I think for anybody who's in the witch's aesthetic, that this would be right up your alley, but I'd love to know what you think down below, so please tell me. I'm gonna show you the drills and then I'll show you where the um, Aurora Borealis goes. I think there's only one in this painting and I think it's Black AB again. <gasps> My favorite, 102 have a look and you can skip ahead by going to that number let's see how many bags of 310 will I get we've got one two three four bags of 310 in this one as well then we've got 938 543 this is her background color one two three four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. Eight bags of 543. And I just wanna show you the quality of the drills. They're really nice. 779, 3861 by two. 938, or no, 838, not 938. 632. 318. 452, we've got two bags of this kind of rosy color. 3371, we've got two of them. 3860, we've got two of those as well. 453 by two. 451, 3799, 317. 3772, 413, 414, 
433, 407, and there it is. 102 is the black AB. That's so pretty. It shows all of the colors. That's what I like about it. It's like purple, pink, blue, green, yellow. Ugh, so pretty. 814, 898, and 415. So let's have a look and see where the letter T is. I'm pretty sure, yep, it's here in her eyes. So the outlining of her eye and the iris as well, those are, and you know, where the lashes would be, that's all um, the special diamonds. Let's see where else they might be. If I were a specialty diamond, there's none there, no. I'm looking. Is it just there? Is there some in her hair, maybe? It's hard to tell because the T and the R have the same background color. Might have to be a surprise, but so far, so far, all I see, there's not in the cat, all I see is her eyes being done in the black AB, which it may very well be only her eyes that are done in that pretty AB color. But this is a stunning fall painting. I really, really like this one. However, I would love to know what you think down in the comments below this video. Please let me know uh, which painting you like better. Do you like these brighter, softer Halloween or a darker toned kind of Halloween? I'd love to know your, your feelings down below. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up on your way out. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider to do so. And I will bring you out more crafty content in the future. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all soon in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye!